Es ist Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and as I've said in the other video and if you're watching this one first, welcome to our Spartan's honest first look of the T26 E5 Patriot. Now, let's start with the stats. That way I can get that out of the way. I can't fudge it up and we're all good. So, it's tier 8 heavy tank for the United States. It is 50 tons, so not bad. It's right around there. It's the same as the, uh, the M48 Patton. So it's kind of a little light for a heavy tank, but at the same time, it's got a very, very good turret. Uh, we're going to go with 40 kilometers an hour speed limit. Its hull armor is decent, 152 in the front, 191 in the front of the turret. Um, and the turret has spaced armor, so you're good there. Um, it's got a 90 mil gun. So, you know, not a big fan of that. You know me and the American 90 mils, we're not on the same uh, planet. I'm not a big fan of the 90 mils. However, this is, as far as 90 mils go, this is probably the best 90 mil you're gonna get. It is very, very good. Um, it's got it you can carry 70 rounds so you've got all the ammo you could ever ask for um, average of 240 damage and the armor penetration on the standard APCR round which is APCR standard in this tank 230 millimeters of penetration so better than the defender now the premium round isn't quite as good as the defender at 259 millimeters penetration so uh you know, definitely a little bit low on the uh, top end. It's almost not worth even using premium rounds in this tank. You're not get. You're only getting 29 more millimeters of penetration. Um, that being said, it's got a pretty good rate of fire, 8.33. It reloads relatively quickly. Um, and once you get a full crew in it, I, I would imagine you get that under seven seconds pretty easy. Um, The view range is pretty good for a heavy tank, especially a tier 8 heavy heavy tank at 390 meters. So you, you can see pretty far. It plays up to tier 10, so again, no premium matchmaking. And the uh, premium details as far as silver bonus, XP bonus, it, it gets more silver and more XP than the Defender. So definitely a plus there. 57% more uh, silver than a stock tank 15% more XP so that's 7% more than the Defender and 5% more than the Defender so uh, that's good all the time I mean that's that's earning you your money back if you buy this tank right uh, that being said as you can see we're on Muravanka and we are in the middle of a cap and we are squared off against the defender and thank goodness I've got some help. Yes, I do have DPM, but if he keeps shooting me, it could go down to the wire and that's not good for either of us. Um, I auto lock this Carnarvon uh, here and then he just flat out runs from me. He's like, oh no, oh no, what am I going to do? Run away. <laughs> so you'll see, I'm going to try to... Uh, use my gun depression and stuff that's the one thing that this tank does have uh, over its Russian counterpart as well is it's American so it has gun depression um, I honestly I didn't look that up. all the stats that I looked up and I didn't look up gun depression uh, but it feels pretty much like every other American uh, tank which pretty much all of them have 10 degrees so we'll go with that um, if I'm wrong somebody will let me know I promise so what are we gonna do uh, what is my weaknesses of this tank? Everything below the turret. <laughs> uh, it's not sloped much, so bouncing off of your uh, bottom is probably not going to go well. Uh, you can if you're angled at really, really strict angles, but generally speaking, haul down is the way to go. Uh, then again, that's pretty much you know par for the course in most American heavy tanks. Everybody knows it. Find a rock, shoot over it, find a dead body, push it, whatever you gotta do 
but keep that turret up and the rest of it hidden and you will be fine now the extra mobility even though it's only five kilometers an hour is noticeable over the defender so it is kind of nice being able to get out and move um, but again that 90 mil gun the problem is yes it aims in uh it's actually feels like it aims in a little slow for a 90 mil but there's that first shot that just goes completely wonky in true american 90 mil fashion I, and then that one was really slow which is another thing even though it shoots apcr the rounds are not fast they're they're just over a thousand meters per second so not fast uh I mean, fast if you're a slug, but other than that, not fast. Um, but the, the problem with a 90 mil is you're not hitting very hard. And when you only have 1,500 hit points, there's not a whole lot of battles you're going to win, you know, face-to-face -face, uh, trading rounds. You know what I mean? People are going to be able to take away your hit points faster than you can take theirs in most cases, even though you've got the smaller gun. And it, and it just lacks that scare factor, you know? At least with the, the 122, people know they're going to get popped. I mean, that's you do twice the damage almost per shot in the uh, 122 than you get out of the 90. Um, so that that's a little bit crazy. But unfortunately for our heavy tank here, he's going to bite off, a or this medium tank is going to bite off a little bit more than he can chew against that boar sig down there. And I'm just trying to get shots where I can. I can't shoot at the mouse kit anymore. It's a waste of my time, a waste of my ammo. I've got 14. I've been firing premium rounds for a while um, because everything that's left other than the RHM is something I need to be able to pin with premium. And there we get a shot on the backside. The RHM fumbles here. He goes to the bottom of a hill and allows me to shoot him and then ramming speed. <laughs> 50 tons coming downhill that was a paddling folks <laughs> i might not it's bad when you could ram somebody harder than you could shoot them you know what i mean <laughs> so at the end of the day what do i think of this tank i've played it quite a bit tonight this one in the defender took me a while to get good games for you guys um, but what do i think of this tank Hull down, it's it's very very good. Uh, that that 250 damage a shot or 240 a shot does add up, uh, but it lacks the overall you know fear factor that most tanks have. You know you get you get hit by a certain tank, you know that you don't want to get hit by it. You know what I mean? So that being said, I still think that this is a very good tank. Uh, especially as premiums go. You guys know that I'm not a big fan of premium tanks usually, but the Defender and the Patriot are definitely good tanks. Um, so, out of the two, I said that I would buy this tank as opposed to the Defender. And that comes down to personal preference. I like my American tanks. I know them well. I do, you know, I do pretty well in my American tanks. I know them like the back of my hand anymore. Um, now here, watch this. Hi! <laughs> Through the window, guys. How about that for some accuracy? Try that, Mr. Stalin. Can I do it twice? Nope, he backs up and I hit the wall anyway. Um, we're just going to keep advancing on this guy. There's no reason to sit tight. He's the last guy. There's four of us. If we all go in together, he dies and none of us do. Uh, however, he's going to get at least one more, I think, before this is over. But... We end up having a pretty good game and I like this tank just for the simple and again silver earning magic oh come on can I get a shot wait for it he's gonna screw up there it is through the window for the finished kill 13 pins three kills three spotted targets hit not bad guys not bad so what do we end up with 2,400 damage, 4 kills, 400 assists, 790 blocked, mastery class 1, not bad. 58,000 silver, even though we spent half the match shooting premium and did no damage with it. So, if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.